the given equation is 4z square plus 8 times absolute value of z square is equal to 8. 4 cancels across the left hand side and the right hand side and the given equation becomes z square plus 2 times absolute value of z square is equal to 2. Now let z is equal to x plus iy where x and y are real numbers. Therefore, z square is equal to x plus i y whole square which is equal to x square minus y square plus 2xy i. And the square of the absolute value of z is equal to x square plus y square. Substituting these results, the given equation z square plus 2 times absolute value of z square is equal to 2 can be written as x square minus y square plus 2xyi plus 2 times in brackets x square plus y square is equal to 2. Separating the real and imaginary parts on the left hand side we get x square minus y square plus 2x square plus 2y square plus 2xyi is equal to 2. This simplifies to 3x square plus y square minus 2 plus 2xyi is equal to 0 plus i times 0. Now equating the real and imaginary parts across the left hand side and the right hand side. We get 3x square plus y square is equal to 2. Let's call this equation 1. And xy is equal to 2. Let's call this equation 2. The equation 2 implies that x is equal to 0 or y is equal to 0. In the first case, if x is equal to 0, then the first equation implies that y square which is equal to 2 minus 3x square is equal to 2 which implies that y is equal to plus minus root 2 and therefore z which is equal to x plus i y is equal to plus minus root 2 times i. In the second case if y is equal to 0 then equation 1 implies that 3x square is equal to 2 which implies that x is equal to plus minus square root of 2 upon 3 and therefore z which is equal to x plus i y is equal to plus minus square root of 2 upon 3. Therefore the possible values of z are plus minus root 2 upon 3 and plus minus i root 2. And this is the required answer.